Hi guys, so I always get this question, so I thought I'm going to put it out there today. I have made a video of it, but obviously we get new subscribers all the time, so I have to maybe even sound like I'm repeating, reminding or refreshing your guys' memory, okay, because the videos may get lost way back on my channel. So I always get asked, how do, how should I manifest? When should I manifest? When's the right time to manifest? Um, because I've seen all these um, secret videos and people are saying, um, no, do this and do that to manifest. And I told you guys, I want to be real with you from the beginning. And that's why I have been real. Um, so I want to put this as simply as possible. Now, you may remember or you may not, um, maybe first time you're hearing this, um, I said to a friend of mine when she wanted to manifest money into her life that just imagine making five pound, five dollars more than you spend a day. This is how I started. And she said, well, no, I want to make a lot more money than this. And that ain't good enough for me because once we get into that healing process, um, we have this self-love and she says, I know my worth. I'm worth more than just five dollars or five pounds. And I agree with her. You are. And I agree with you who are saying that too. The thing is, if it's your first time manifesting, you may have difficulty remaining in the belief when it doesn't manifest so quickly. So smaller things are easier to manifest um, a better place where to start, right? So you believe, okay, I can manifest $5, anybody can. And then it starts to show up and your belief and your strength and your passion for manifesting grows because we are manifestors. It happens all the time. We're doing it even without realizing we're manifesting, right? Um, so the thing is, it doesn't happen instantly. And I've said this before, I'll say it probably again. If we manifested instantly, what would happen when we're thinking about a crazy elephant charging down the street and we're like, ah, but there's millions of us manifesting, right? So all, everybody manifesting their crazy thoughts, that's just a split second maybe. Or if you're like me, a bit of a weirdo, you might imagine all crazy things. These things would manifest instantly all the time in our life and in everybody else's life, right? Um, so there's got to be some rules and that's the rules of the universe, right? So this is what we're following. So easier place to start. Start small so that you know you can do it so you can hold on to the belief a lot longer so you don't start to feel down when manifesting. Right, because if you're like, I want to manifest a mansion and part of you doesn't believe anyway, it's going to be harder to manifest, right? You might ma manifest a mansion appearing on the TV all the time and the universe is saying, there's your mansion. Um, and you're like, not picking up the signs that you manifested this mansion. Um, so yeah, you might be like, that's somebody else's mansion, but it's because the belief isn't like all the way there yet. So if you start with, I can manifest $5, five pounds, whatever your currency is. And when it starts coming to you, your belief grows along with that. Now, another thing, there's a good time for everybody to be manifesting. Um, it's very simple, actually, uh, I, along with looking on your birth chart and things like that. But there's a very simple way to when to manifest um, and when to reap your rewards. And that is. When should we plant seeds? You gardeners are like, I know. <laughs> so if we went along just by that, like, OK, we're going to spring forward when we put our clocks forward. Those of us that still do, um, we're going to plant seeds when the farmers are planting. So did you ever do harvest festival at school? Right. So you'll know, OK, it's autumn now. We're doing the harvesting of the food and things like that. That's when to harvest and when you t can expect your rewards to come in. So once the farmers have harvested the food, um, they'll know when to prepare the land and then plant the seeds, right? In order to get a good crop. 
it's the same with you if we want to look at it in a very basic way we want to prepare ourselves before we start manifesting know what we really desire know what we really want to focus on maybe even start those small manifesting five dollars five pounds along the way right start preparing ourselves for the bigger things and then plant the seeds and know when we plant the seed we don't harvest the next day that is a wonderful thing to remember an easy way to remember that way because if we think we're harvesting the next day those farmers wouldn't have their crops to feed the rest of us right so you won't lose faith in your manifesting by doing it these ways starting off small doing it at the right time so you can so even the children um like when they go to school and things like that they're going back to school at a certain time um and then they break up for holidays at certain times right so taking a break from uh manifest is, is also a good thing because you may have heard of set your intention then let go right so do the work and let go don't just think okay i want to win the lottery that's it and then never buy a lottery ticket you've got to put action behind the desire right guys so you get it think about what you want spend the time knowing this is what i want this is what i desire maybe even make space for it you know we call it spring cleaning and stuff like okay i'm cleaning stuff out because new stuff's coming in we sort of automatically know that like when the animals are born on the farm in spring and things like that there's this newness and this freshness so right after harvest festival um and when we harvest food it's different all over the world so know your time zone that you're in and be like okay now i can see what i've got see what i don't want clear out my space um some call it feng shui don't they they know where the positive energy flows through the home and your work environment so go ahead and like i did in the other video prepare to fail because when i change the word fail to practice we can see then a whole new perspective okay i'm just practicing because we know we practice for a test we practice driving we practice a lot of stuff and we don't be hard on ourselves because we're not saying while we're practicing i'm failing no we're preparing for the real thing right and be open for what it is you desire coming to you in any way shape or form don't say um i want a pacific person to come to me on the 19th of whatever on my doorstep with flowers because you're making the universe a real hard job there okay it, it, everybody has to flow in time in ways every time i'm doing these manifesting videos my phone starts going i start manifesting people into my life um but you guys get it right and i hope you took something from this video you can say oh yeah now i see maybe i started to lose hope and desire about that one thing and that's why there's a preparation time as well there's a time to prep there's a time to harvest there's a time I bet you any money it's my Libra son. What do I always say? You guys, how Libras text? They drive me nuts. Well, seeing as my son is spoiling my video. Okay, guys, good luck.